officially turn 32 in a few days. And honestly, it feels a bit different from other birthdays for some reason. I feel more together and unshakable. Is it Shraddha or Sadhana or both? Anyways, the moments of doubt are few and far in between. They are less intense and the ability to bounce back and recover seems to be faster. I'm noticing an ease in my being unlike anything I've experienced before. There's no rush in me to do things by a certain time. There's no pressure to perform in any way to validate myself. My self-worth is no longer going up and down and is not for the world to decide on its whims and fancies. Finally, gosh, that one took 30 plus years of drama to arrive here. And to say it out loud, I can't tell you how liberating that feels. I'm smiling here at the other end of the microphone. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Own Your Everyday series in the Being Miraculous podcast. I'm your host and self-awareness coach, Shweta Shivaraman, back with insights and micro practices that you can use in your busy lives to own your everyday. In today's episode, we are going to deep dive into some learnings I've had over the years and hopefully they prove useful to you. Oh gosh, it feels so nice to have a solo podcast after ages. I'm loving this experience of being behind the mic. So as I was saying that there seems to be a lot more ease and a lot more certainty in self-worth. And I just want to clarify before I go any further, does this mean that I don't experience unpleasant emotions and losses? Far, far from it. On the contrary, ever since I moved out of the corporate, my life has been nothing but a string of failures with a few glorious moments of success. So yes, loss, failure, disappointment, fear, all still very much a part of my life. But what has helped is consciously detaching who I am from what I do. This is something, if you remember, I started right in the beginning when I moved out of the corporate job in 2019. Earlier, it was something that was completely entangled for me. But I think the more I do my daily sadhana and practices, the distinction for me is becoming clearer and clearer. What I do can improve and needs work every single day, every single moment. Who I am though is enough as I am, just the way I am. No tweaks required. Such a powerful distinction. I wish we were taught this earlier. We didn't have to learn it the hard way. So unlike previous episodes where I probably explained each of my lessons, this time I want to keep it open to your interpretations. I'm going to share my reflections, listen to it with an open mind and take what you need from it. So here it goes, my lessons as I stand on the edge of the big three two. One, I am enough as I am. I don't need to do anything extra to garner love or validate my existence. Two, life is made better with love. There's so much joy I feel in those little moments of kindness and love. Three, if you don't like something in the world outside, look within first. Reactions and narratives tend to make problems bigger than they really are. Four, it's you plus life, not you alone. So dare to dream bigger than your wildest imagination. Five, there is no short-changing effort. Whatever goals and dreams you have, you need to show up and work on it every single moment. Six, detach, detach, detach. That's the only way to enjoy life. Seven, and this one changed my life, sleep as a human. Not as an author, podcaster, coach, none of that. Human. Eight, I can only extend to the world the compassion and kindness I extend to myself. So it begins and ends with me. Nine, I don't need to control every single aspect. I cannot. I only need to do my part. 10. The things you cannot see and touch matter more than you think. Intention, appreciation, compassion. 11. 
the sooner we realize it's less about the i and more about the we the lesser we need to suffer 12 it takes a village to do anything meaningful stop trying to do it all by yourself and ask for help 13 the work you do matters don't let any external metrics convince you otherwise 14 don't forget to count the blessings you are living today your past self would kill for those things you take for granted 15 you're not entitled to anything treat everything you get in life as a blessing and this helps keeps the ego in check while we enjoy the rewards of our effort 16 talking about rewards the journey is the reward allow yourself full permission to take it all in the thrill of starting something new the uncertainty of not knowing how it will pan out the success of the first glimmer of wins the hurt and also the lessons from failure they are all part of the self transformation journey together they help us evolve into our next best version 17 lists are your friends as you grow old as albus dumbledore says use them well 18 pursue mastery in one professional skill it will boost your confidence like no other 19 embrace your humanness you will make mistakes say things that you shouldn't do things that you know better than to do it's all right it happens once the clarity reemerges take responsibility for your actions apologize and make it right without beating yourself up over it 20 make time to find joy in everyday moments it will all be over all too soon and we deserve to experience a few moments at least of unadulterated joy 21 things have a way of working out when i trust it and i love life to unfold on its own time sometimes things happen effortlessly 22 the lesser i live in my head the more alert i am in the here and now the better i see my reality and the many opportunities it presents and last but not the least my most favorite 23 life is too short to settle for anything but the best have that open mind follow your curiosity and pursue your dreams with all you've got remember you only regret the choices you never took So there's your only everyday tip for this week. Reflect on what are some lessons life teaches you and what is that lesson out of these 23 that you needed to hear the most. Share with me in the Q&A box on Spotify if that's where you're listening or across socials and DMs wherever you follow me would love to hear what is that one takeaway you are taking out of this podcast. Would love to hear. Thank you so much for tuning in and until we meet again this is Shweta signing off hoping you have a brilliant week ahead. Mm-hmm.